Hey everyone, and welcome to another Zim tutorial. This is the second part of the Battlefield 5 configuration tutorial. Today I want to show you how to set up two Zim Apex vehicle configurations for ground and air vehicles in Battlefield 5. These configurations will greatly increase your planes and tank turn speeds, so you can accurately use and control those to the maximum possible extent. Also, in this video I will show you how to correctly set up your Battlefield 5 in-game vehicle options. As always, you can find the copy and paste codes of everything that I show you in this video in the description down below. Before I show you how to set up the two vehicle configurations you should make sure that your in-game vehicle sensitivity is set to maximum. When your Battlefield 5 game is running, click on the More button at the very bottom. After that, proceed to the options. When you go to the control options you can find the vehicle aim sensitivity right below the soldier settings. Set it to 100% so your vehicle can reach the fastest turn speed. Another very useful adjustment for air vehicle players is to set the vehicle field of view to maximum. You can find this option in the video settings. This is not really necessary for tanks or other ground vehicles, but for planes it helps a lot to increase your overview when fighting against other planes. Once this is done, you can exit the battlefield game options and start your Zim Manager. Once your Zim Manager is running, start by loading your current Battlefield 5 infantry configuration. If you do not have one yet, or you do not know how to create one, then you can watch my Battlefield 5 Infantry Configuration video under link 1 in the video description. Also, please tick the Expert mode in the options of your Zim Manager. You can find this feature by going into the Zim Manager options in the top right. After that, click on Global Settings. There you can find the Expert mode option. Tick the box and click on the save button in the bottom right. You can leave this menu afterwards. Now that the necessary preparations are complete, let's start with the first vehicle configuration setup, which is the ground vehicle configuration. It is meant to be used for tanks and other slow turning ground vehicles. For that we will use the auxiliary configuration option of your Zim. Click on the edit button in the top left of your Zim manager. After that, swipe three times to the right. If you use the battlefield configuration that I showed you in my first tutorial, then you have to swipe four times to the right. That way you will enter a new auxiliary menu. The first step is to activate this sub-configuration by pressing the enabled button. As your activation button you can pick a button that you haven't bound in your regular battlefield 5 configuration yet. I will use the F key for this as I haven't assigned any other action to it yet. The activation method will be toggle, so make sure to tick the box right next to it. Below the activation options you have the advanced settings. Open this menu and you can find the deactivation buttons for this sub configuration. Here you have to bind two buttons. The first one is your regular melee button from your hip configuration. In my case that's the mouse forward button. With this button you enter the third person camera mode of the tank which doesn't have any sensitivity problems. The second button you should bind here is the one you use to reload in your hip configuration. This is the key that you use to enter and leave vehicles. In my case that is the E key. That way you can do the following. Whenever you enter a tank, you can press your activation key to start this auxiliary configuration. Once you want to leave the vehicle, you just press your regular leave button and your ground vehicle sub configuration will automatically deactivate as well. Alternatively, you can press your activation key again to deactivate this sub configuration. The next step is to open the advanced settings under your sensitivity option. You can adjust the synchronization and boost option there. For vehicles I recommend you to use the same synchronization setting that you used in your hip configuration. I will go with common again. After that click on the ballistic curve generator right above the synchronization feature. A new pop-up will appear in which you can customize the ballistic curve graph. I will now show you how to create a vehicle curve that will increase your turn speed. 
If you want to learn more about the ballistic curve generator, and how the curve works in general, then I recommend you to watch my two ballistic curve tutorial videos under link 2 and 3 in the video description. So, let's start with creating the curve. Use the slider at the bottom and move it to the right until you see the value 50. The slider should now be in the very middle. After that, you press the plus button at the bottom once, then click the minus button on the left once. The value should be back at 50. This will create a curved node that will divide the graph into two segments. Now move the slider at the bottom to the right until you see the value 70. The last step to finish the vehicle curve is to click on the right slider and move it all the way to the top. The value will then be at 100. If you did everything correctly your curve should look like mine. This curve will allow you to hit the maximum turn speed much easier, which results in a faster sensitivity. You can now leave the ballistic curve generator. The next step is to adjust your zim sensitivity at the top. I recommend you to use a sensitivity that is at least 2 or 3 times higher than your regular hip sensitivity. Since my hip sensitivity from the previous Battlefield 5 tutorial part was 15, I will go with 30 for this auxiliary configuration. Pick a sensitivity that feels good for you, if you end up with a higher or lower sensitivity compared to mine then that's perfectly fine. At last you can add some boost at the very bottom if slower mouse movements don't feel responsive enough. I recommend a value of 300 here. If you want to use a dedicated tank button layout, then you can now untick the inherit box at the very top. After that, you can scroll all the way down to rebind your ground vehicle buttons. The only thing you should pay attention to is that you adjust your two deactivation buttons if you decide to change the buttons for reload and melee. Your ground vehicle configuration is now complete. You can hit the save button in the top left and leave the configuration menu. As I mentioned before, you can find the copy and paste code for this ground vehicle Battlefield 5 configuration in the video description down below. Now let's look at the second vehicle configuration setup, which is meant to be used for air vehicles such as jets and planes. This time a second Battlefield 5 configuration is required. It will be dedicated to air vehicles only and will allow you to fly all planes in the game very well. The first thing to do is to create a new Battlefield 5 configuration. Open the options of your Zim Manager in the top right and click on the New Configuration button. Search for the Battlefield 5 configuration and pick it from the game list once you have found it. After that, choose the console you are playing on at the bottom. Once the Zim has loaded the new configuration, go into the editing menu of this new Battlefield 5 Zim configuration by clicking the button in the top left. At the bottom you can change the configuration light. Pick a color you like the most from the list. I will go with green for this tutorial. Whenever my Zim will now show a green light, I will know that my air vehicle game profile is running. On the right side of the configuration color, you can find the hotkey option. I will use the F2 key for this. When I want to load my Battlefield 5 Air Vehicle Zim profile, all I have to do is to press F2 on my keyboard and the configuration will be active. Since my Battlefield 5 Infantry configuration hotkey is F1, I can switch between the two game profiles as often as I want to with these two keys. The next step is to swipe to the right to enter the hip menu. Open the advanced menu under the hip sensitivity first. There you can adjust the synchronization feature. I recommend you to use the same synchronization that you picked in your regular Battlefield 5 Infantry Zim configuration. For me this means I will go with common again. After that, adjust the Zim sensitivity. My advice is to use a sensitivity that is at least 5 times higher than your regular Battlefield 5 Infantry hip sensitivity. Since my regular sensitivity was 15 in the previous tutorial part, I will go with 75 for this configuration. The next thing to do is to open the ballistic curve generator again. Either manually recreate the ground vehicle curve from before, or copy paste its code by using the buttons at the bottom. I will quickly draw the curve again. 
The procedure is the same as before. You divide the curve into two parts and near the end of the second segment you raise it all the way to the top. When you are done adjusting the curve it should look like the one you can see now. After that, you can close the ballistic curve generator. The most important step comes now, which is the adjustment of the movement keys. Scroll down to the movement menu and open its advanced settings at the bottom. There you will have the option to bind the right analog stick to the keyboard. I will bind the down option to spacebar. This button will allow me to continuously fly upwards. Use a button of your choice for that feature. After that, you should bind the up option. I will use the left control key for it. With that button you can fly downwards. What this option does is to bind the pitch up and pitch down option of the game to the keyboard. This will allow you to permanently fly in circles with your plane without having to move the mouse at all. That way you can fully use your mouse for either aiming or making precise adjustments to your flight direction. Also, you can fly in circles while altering your speed with W or S, which is a very big advantage. Overall it is a very powerful setting and massively increases your air vehicle control. After that, you can scroll down to bind your controller actions. The first thing you should do is to check if the two buttons that you just bound to fly up and down are already used here. If that is the case, then unbind them here. The spacebar is bound to jump in this configuration, so I have to assign a different button to it now. I will use the mouse scroll click for that. As for the melee button I will use the mouse forward button again. It toggles the first and third person camera. The sprint button will allow you to freely look around in the plane. It's a pretty useful action and I will keep the left shift key for this. The R1 button is for spotting. I will bind it to the key 1 again just like in my regular battlefield configuration. The L1 button is for self-repair. I will use the R key for this. The crouch action is not used in planes, you can unbind it. Reload is the button with which you will enter and leave the plane, I will pick the key E for this. For change weapons I prefer the Q key. For inventory right and left I will use the scroll up and down keys. You can continue to bind the other buttons as well, just make sure that there is no conflict with your fly up and down buttons. Once you have bound your buttons, scroll all the way down. At the bottom of the button bindings you can find the option for the secondary button bindings. You open it by clicking on the button with the three dots. There you can bind every controller action a second time. I do not use this option for air vehicles, but if you have a need for that then make use out of it. If you use the zoom feature in planes, then I recommend you to swipe to the right one more time. This will open the zoom menu. Make sure the activation button is the same one that you used in the hip menu for the aim down sights action. In my case this is the right mouse button. Open the advanced settings under the aim down sights sensitivity and adjust the synchronization. Set it to the same one as in your hip configuration. For me this means I will go with synchronization common again. At last adjust your mouse sensitivity. I recommend you to either use the same sensitivity that you used in the hip menu, or a slightly lower one. I will go with 75 again. If you do not zoom with planes, then this is not necessary. Your air vehicle configuration is now complete. You can press the save button in the top left and leave the editing menu. The copy and paste code for this plane configuration can be found in the video description. If you have any questions about the Zim, or about the Battlefield 5 vehicle configuration, just ask in the comments down below. If you liked this video, hit the like button or even subscribe to this channel. Also, let me know if you would like to see more of these tutorials in the comments down below, and I will maybe see you in the next one. Until then, enjoy your Zim experience.